Once the great leader APJ Abdul Kalam said, success is a vehicle which moves on a wheel named hard work. Success is a vehicle which moves on a wheel named hard work, but the journey is impossible without the fuel named self-confidence. So be confident enough. Hello everyone, myself Negar Sultana. I welcome you all to R&D Digital Learnings. Watch this video till the end to know the insertion sorting technique. So now let's move on to the computer screen. Insertion sort is applicable only when we have the less elements of an array. This sort inserts each element in an appropriate position. It's same as playing cards in which we insert the card in a proper position. We divide this array into sorted and unsorted. Now let's understand this insertion sort with the help of an example. Here we have five elements, so the n value is five. Index starts from 0 to 4. Here we will be considering the first element to be sorted one and the rest elements will be considered to be the unsorted one. The first element of the unsorted one we will consider as to be the key and we will compare this key with the sorted elements. Here the 47 is my key. This key will be compared with 38. 38 is only the one element which is present in the sorted array. This 38 element is compared with 47. Is 38 greater than 47? No, it's not true. So what I'll be doing? I'll be placing this 47 into the sorted element. Now this 38 and 47 will be considered to be the sorted elements. This 24, 42, 89 are my unsorted elements. Again, I will be repeating the same procedure. The first element of an unsorted array are the key now. So 24 is my key. This key will be compared with 47 as well as 38. See, first I will be comparing this 47 is greater than 24. Yes, if it is true, I'll be, I need to push this 47 into the next position so that I can insert 24. This is true. Again, 38 is greater than 24. Yes, that is also true. So what I'll be doing when this 47 is greater than 24, I'll be pushing this 47 into the next position. Then 24 is lesser than this 38. So I'll be placing this 38 into the next position and 24 will be placed into the first position because 24 is lesser than 47, 38 and 24. Till now, 24, 38 and 47 are the sorted elements and 42, 89 are our unsorted elements. Repeat the procedure. The first element of the unsorted array, that is 42, is considered to be an key now. I will be comparing all the elements of sorted array is compared with 42. Is 47 greater than 42? Yes, it is true. And again 38 will be compared with 42 as well. When this 47 is greater than 42, I will be pushing this 47 into the next position. So now this place is empty. Again I will be comparing this 38 is greater than 42. It is false. So if it is false means this 42 lies between 38 and 47. I will be placing this 42 in between of 38 and 47. Till now we have 4 elements which is in sorted 24, 38, 42 and 47. Only one element is left over of unsorted array. Now this 89 is my key. Now I will be comparing this 89 with the, with the sorted elements. That is, is 47 greater than 89? No, it is not greater. Then this 89 will come after 47 itself. So I will be placing that 89 after 47. So now 24, 38, 42, 47, 89, all these elements are being arranged in an order. So now these five elements are to be considered as sorted elements. This is the working of insertion sort. So now let's understand this sorting technique with the help of a function. This is a function for insertion sort. We have used for loop, one while loop and few assignments. So now let's understand why do we have why we have used this i loop and j loop. As I have told you, we have taken five elements of an array. It starts from zero index till four. 
so whatever we have in the unsorted part that is for i loop and whatever we have in the sorted part that for that part we will use the j loop now let's understand this with step by step so as i have told you this part so uh, this green color part is of unsorted elements so for unsorted elements i will be using this i loop so the, this is my i part from 1 to 4 and so this is my j part just only one element in this pass when i enter into this i loop i need to assign the value of key as well as j next when i enter into the while loop i'll be checking the condition when this two condition satisfied i'll be assigning this a of j plus 1 and i'll be decrementing the value of j when this condition becomes false i'll be assigning the value of key to the a of j plus 1 let's understand this initially the value of i is 1 Let's check the condition. Is one lesser than five? See how many elements we have? One, two, three, four, five. So the value of n is five. Is one less than five? It's true. When it is true, let's assign the value of a of i to the key. I have told you a of i is one. A of one is what? Forty-seven. So forty-seven, I must assign to key. So I have given this value forty-seven as my key. Next assignment is j is equals to i minus one. What is i? One. One minus one is zero. So now I have assigned this zero as j. So now we have understood key is forty-seven and j is zero. Now. I'll be. I need to compare this. Is zero greater than or equal to zero? This is true. And I must check another condition. A of j. J is zero. Is a of zero greater than key? My key is forty-seven. A of zero is thirty-eight. Is thirty-eight greater than forty-seven? It is false. when this condition become false no need of executing these statements directly we can assign the value of key to the a of j plus 1 so j is my 0 now a of 0 plus 1 is 1 a of 1 will be assigned with the key that is 47 so 38 is greater than 48 when this condition become false i'll be placing the value of 47 into the place of a of 1 next i must increment the value of j when i increment the value of when this completes i must increment the value of i i value is the i value is 2 now let's compare this is 2 lesser than n this is true when this is true let's assign the value of key as well as j now key will be a of i is 2 what is a of 2 a of 2 is 24 now i have told you whatever we have the first element in the unsorted that will be considered as my key so the value of key is 24 now j will be i minus 1 i is 2 2 minus 1 is 1 so now j will, j is this part and i is this part and this is my key Key is twenty four. I will be comparing this. Is one greater than or equal to zero? This is true. Now I will be checking another condition. A of j is one. A of one is greater than key. Key is twenty four. What is a of one? A of one is forty seven. Is forty seven greater than twenty four? This is true. when this both the conditions are true i must execute this statement what is e of j plus 1 j is my 1 1 plus 1 is 2 in the place of a of 2 i must assign the value of 
j that is a of j a of 1 what is a of 1 a of 1 is 42 i must place the value of 47 in a of 2 that is a of 2 is equals to 47 see in the place of a of 2 i have placed 47 next condition is i must decrement the value of j initially the j value of j was 1 when i decrement the value will become 0 now let's again check the condition is 0 greater than or equals to 0 this is true and there is one more condition a of j j is my 0 a of 0 is greater than key what is a of 0 a of 0 is 38 is 38 greater than 24 this is true if this is true i must execute these statements what is a of j plus 1 j is 0 a of 1 will be assigned with a of 0 what is a of 0 a of 0 is 38 so in the place of a of 1 i'll be assigning the value of a of 0 so this is a of 0 i'll be placing in the place of a of 1 so in the place of a of 1 i have assigned the 38 next i must decrement the value of j when i decrement the value of j j will be minus 1 check the condition is minus 1 greater than or equal to 0 it becomes false when this becomes false come out of the while loop we have one condition or the assignment again that is a of j plus 1 j is by minus 1 what is minus 1 plus 1 that is 0 a of 0 will be assigned with the value of key what is my key key is 24 now a of 0 is holding 24 now see 24 is been placed in a of 0 now there are three elements 24 38 47 are the sorted elements and rest of the elements like 42 and 89 are my unsorted elements now after completing this statements let's increment the value of i now the i, I value was 2 now it becomes 3 now the i value is 3 is 3 lesser than 5 it's true when it is true enter into the loop now my the key value is key is equals to a of 5 a of 3 is holding what 42 now key is equals to 42 now let's see what is j j will be i minus 1 i is 3 3 minus 1 is 2 now j starts from here and this is my i next let's check the while conditions is 2 greater than or equals to 0 yes this is true now let's check another condition a of j that is a of 2 is greater than key key is 42 what is a of 2 a of 2 is 47 is 47 greater than 42 this is true when this is true i i must execute this statement we have this a of j plus 1 that is j is 2 now 2 plus 1 3 in the place of a of 3 i must assign a of 2 what is a of 2 a of 2 is 47 i'll be placing this 47 in the place of a of 3 that is a of 3 is equals to 47 in this we have placed 47 now i'll be decrementing the value of j so before we were having the value of j as 2 now it will become as 1 let's check the condition is 1 lesser than or equal sorry greater than or equal to 0 this is true and again we have a of j j is my 1 is a of 1 greater than key key is 42 what is a of 1 is 38 greater than 42 this is false then no need of executing this statement directly we can place the value of key in a of j plus 1 j is my 1 then a of 1 plus 1 is 2 in the place of a of 2 i must insert the value of key key is 42 now i have placed this 42 in the place of a of 2 now we have uh, four elements as sorted elements like 24 38 42 and 47 when i assign when i 
assign the value of key in the place of e of j plus 1 after doing this we must increment the value of j now the j value becomes 4 now 4 is lesser than 5 yes this is true when this is true assign the value of key now the value so this is my i and this is my j key is equals to what is a of 4 a of 4 is 89 so key is my 89 key is equals to 89 yes next the value of j is i minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 is 3 so this is my j let's check the condition is 3 greater than or equals to 0 this is true we have another a of j is 3 is a of 3 greater than key 89 is 47 greater than 89 this is false so no need of executing these statements so we have an assignment that is a of j is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 in the place of a of 4 i must insert the value of key as 89 so when we place this Eighty-nine into the place of four, we have all the elements in a sorted order. It starts from twenty-four, thirty-eight, forty-two, forty-seven, and eighty-nine. After assigning the value of key, then I must increment the value of i again. So the i value will be five now. Is five lesser than five? This is false. Then stop the for loop. So at last we got all the elements in a sorted order. So this is the way of sorting the elements in ascending order using insertion sort. Stay tuned to watch our next video on next sorting technique. Do like our video, share with your friends and do not forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.